tourists from southern China have pushed Harbin's popularity to unprecedented heights this winter season. Even winter foxes have been fetched from farms to greet guests. Trying frozen pears is a must. I have never seen them before. It is my first time. I've never even experienced the highest temperature in Harbin. What do you mean? Today, the highest temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius. The coldest I've experienced in my life was minus 8 degrees. <laughs> Vendors explain the art of eating these rock-hard frozen delicacies by thawing them first. I used to sell about 700 yuan worth of pears today. Now it's 1,700 yuan. I've been here for some 28 years since the day this market opened. I've experienced a lot from decline to prosperity, and to now when prosperity is felt all over the country, it makes us very happy. My newfound friends and I indulge in sticky bean buns and barbecued red sausages, a Russian legacy in Harbin. Portions are generous and prices cheaper than back home. Do you guys think Harbin is popular right now because Southerners like you have never been to the Northeast? No. Why then? It's because the people here are so hospitable. The cab drivers were welcoming. The airport workers are welcoming. The hotel staff are welcoming. The vendors are welcoming. People are not welcoming where you come from? It is not that they aren't hospitable, but it just feels like something is missing. What are you doing? Keeping myself warm. Will you come back? Definitely. Why? Originally, I was going to bring my parents, but they didn't come because they were afraid of the cold. So I came by myself to get used to it first, and it feels okay. It seems to feel warm in the heart is all that matters to these faraway guests. <laughs> 然后拿雪给他扬上但时盛点就假装这里啥都没有咱就给它稍微缓一缓小伙伴们冻梨慕斯也是咱家出的哟创作没有瓶颈这款慕斯相对于更加清爽一些外壳是巧克力然后有一层薄薄的慕斯中间是梨的夹心还有更多的惊喜请大家期待一下吧